Hello and welcome to another video on Beast Mode Maths and in this video we're going to be carrying on with quadratic sequences and we're going to get some more practice uh, with calculating the nth term of quadratic sequences. Now if you haven't already I would recommend going back to the previous video, the first one I did on quadratic sequences, just to show you the techniques we use to calculate the nth term of these types of sequences. So here we've got a sequence and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the first difference between each term. So the difference between 7 and 12, well, we're adding 5 here. Now this difference, we're adding 7 here, we're adding 9, and then to go from 28 to 39, we are adding on 11. So we know it's not an arithmetic sequence because the difference between each term is not the same. So let's work out the second difference now. So to go from 5 to 7, well, we're adding on 2. Here we're adding on 2, and again here we're adding on 2. And we can see that because we're adding the same amount each time, it's a quadratic sequence. And we know that a quadratic sequence starts off with n squared. Now to work out what the coefficient on this n squared term is, all we do is we half our second difference. So half of 2 is 1, so it's just going to be 1 n squared, or I can just leave it as n squared. So now if I write down my original sequence again down here, and I know that my nth term is going to include n squared. So let's write down the sequence n squared. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. So my sequence starts with n squared. So to see what I've got left over, all I can do is I can subtract n squared from my original sequence, and that will tell me what I've got left over. So let's do s minus n squared. So s minus n squared. So 7 minus 1 is 6, 12 minus 4 is 8. 19 minus 9 is 10, 28 minus 20, uh, 16 is 12, and 39 minus 25 is 14. Now hopefully what you can see here, what we're left with after we've subtracted our n squared sequence from our original sequence, is we're left with just another sequence. And this sequence here, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, well that's an arithmetic sequence because it goes up by the same amount each time, we're adding on 2 each time. So this sequence here has an nth term of 2n, and then we're just shifting it up by 4. We're shifting our 2 times table up by 4 each time. So it has the nth term 2n plus 4. Now if we look at our original sequence, the one we started off with, well that is just composed of our quadratic sequence and our arithmetic sequence. If we just add these two sequences together, we're left with our original sequence. So we can say that the nth term of our original sequence, well that is just the quadratic part plus the arithmetic part. So we can just add these two expressions together. So it's going to be n squared and then plus 2n plus 4. 2n plus 4. And that is the nth term of our quadratic sequence. So now I've got four sequences here. And what I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can calculate the nth term of each of these sequences. So I'm assuming you've paused the video and had a go at this. So let's go through this together. So the first thing we need to do is work out the first difference between each term. So to go from 6 to 13, we're adding 7. Go from 13 to 24, we're adding on 11. Here we're adding on 15. And here we're adding on 19. Now we need to work out the second difference. So here we're adding on 4. We're adding on 4. And we're adding on 4. So it's definitely a quadratic sequence. And because the um, second difference, we're adding 4 each time. Remember, we half that, and that will be the coefficient on our x squared term. So half of 4 is 2, so we're going to start off with 2n squared. Now I'm just going to write down the sequence again. And now I'm going to write down the sequence 2n squared. So 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18. 4 squared is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and 5 squared is 25, 25 times 2 is 50. And just be careful with this because you need to make sure that you apply bid mass correctly. We do the square operation before we multiply by 2. So this is our original sequence, and this is the sequence 2n squared. So to find out what's left, we can just subtract our 2n squared sequence from our original sequence. So 6 minus 2 is 4, 13 minus 8 is 5. 24 minus 18 is 6, 39 minus 32 is 7, and 58 minus 50 is 8. So you can see here that we've got a nice arithmetic sequence. This sequence just goes up by 1 each time, 
it's our one times table, we, but we're just shifting up by three. So the nth term of this sequence is just going to be n plus three. So to work out what the nth term of our original sequence is, well, we just add these two sequences together. So we're going to be left with 2n squared, that's the quadratic part. And then we're going to add on our arithmetic sequence, which is n plus 3. And this is our nth term. Let's do this one here. First of all, let's work out the first difference. And now let's work out what the second difference is. And just like this previous one, the, se the second difference is exactly the same. So we half this number, half of 4 is 2, so it's going to be 2n squared. So now let's just copy down the original sequence again. And now let's write down the sequence 2n squared. And I've actually done it over here. So I can just copy these numbers here, over here. And now I just need to subtract my 2n squared sequence from my original sequence to see what I'm left with. And this is what I'm left with. And again, this is an arithmetic sequence. It goes up by 4 each time. So it's going to be 4n. And it's 3 less than our 4 times table. So it's going to be 3n, 4n, minus 3. So uh, the quadratic part is 2n squared. The arithmetic part is 4n minus 3. So if we put that all together, the nth term is going to be 2n squared and then plus 4n minus 3. So this is the nth term of our second sequence. Now onto the next one. So again, let's first of all work out what the first difference is between each of these numbers. And now let's work out the second difference. And I've got a feeling it's going to be similar to the first one. I didn't do this on purpose. This was uh, purely coincidental. And yes, it is exactly the same as our previous two questions, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, let's go with it anyway. So our nth term is going to start with 2n squared. So just like before, I'm going to copy down my original sequence, and I'm also going to write down the 2n squared sequence. And again, I'm going to subtract my 2n squared sequence from my original sequence to see what I'm left with. So 9 minus 2 is 7. 20 minus 8 is 12. 35 minus 18 is 17. 54 minus 32 is 22 and 77 minus 50 is 27 and again we've got a arithmetic sequence this time we're going up by 5 each time so it's going to be 5n and it's 2 above our 5 time table so it's going to be 5n plus 2 and let's put our the quadratic part with our arithmetic part so the nth term is going to be 2n squared again just like before plus 5n and then plus 2 so this is our nth term so we've got one more and hopefully uh, it's going to be different to 2n squared. I think it will, just looking at these uh, numbers here. So let's give this one a go. So first of all, let's work out what the first difference is. And now let's work out the second difference. And yes, I can see it will be different. I can see we're just adding on one each time. So because we're adding on only one each time, remember we half this number and that is going to be the coefficient on our n squared term. So half of one is 0 0.5. So the nth term is going to start with 0 0.5 n squared. So again, I'm gonna write down my original sequence, but this time I'm gonna write down the sequence 0 0.5 n squared. So one squared is one, half of one is 0 0.5. Two squared is four, and half of four is two. Three squared is nine, half of nine is 4.5. Four squared is 16, and half of 16 is eight. And then 5 squared is 25, half of 25 is 12.5. So just like before, I'm going to subtract this sequence from my original sequence. So 2.5 subtract 0.5, that's just 2. 5 subtract 2 is 3. 8.5 subtract 4.5 is 4. And you can see a pattern here. This is just going to go 5 and then 6. So again, we've got an arithmetic sequence. And this is the sequence that has the nth term n plus 1. It's the same as my 1 times table, but just shifted up by 1. So the nth term of my original sequence is going to be 0.5 n squared, and then plus n plus 1. So that is the nth term there. So hopefully this video helped in understanding how to calculate the nth term of a quadratic sequence. And the key take home from this is really that it's just composed of two sequences. We've got our quadratic part here in red, and we've got the arithmetic part here in purple, and we just put the two together to give us our nth term. So I'll leave it there for this video, but I think I'm going to do one more video on quadratic sequences, which is just going to involve a bit more problem solving. I'll see you soon.